getting on his face or he get or he get the uh, didn't tell Sam to let me know. Oh, he gonna tell something. So I got that hand on him. And I'm thinking to my I'm thinking to myself, if do if do give a tell sign, I'm finna jump with him right now. So he hands the phone, hello. He don't sound nervous or nothing. He on point, you know what I'm saying? He play a role. And then I hear him say, oh, I don't know nothing about that, you know what I'm saying? And he get on the phone. So I'm thinking everything cool, everything kosher, like everything, you know what I'm saying, solid. So my mama called me. My mama called me, I asked the phone, hello. Who guns is he? I hang up on pow. What is she say? What is she calling me like that for? She called me back. I answered the phone. Hello. She said, Did you have something to do with that? What did you talk about? Mama? What was going on? Did you have something to do with that last night with that boy getting killed? Who blood is that? Oh, I hang up. Mama, mama just chill, mama. I'll be home in just a second. Just chill. She, no, nah, you need to tell my hang up. Pow. She called back again. Hello. Boy, you need to, I said, listen, just chill. I said, I'll be home in a minute, quick talk. I said, if you ain't had nothing to do with it, you can just tell me on the phone. Did, 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 did you? I hang up the phone. Ha! I hang up the phone. So when I pull up, to, I go drop my little cousin off. When I drop my little cousin off, I'm on my way back to the house. I get a text message from my mom. And the text message read, and it say, well, we finna take him down there to the, who is we? I'm finna go down here. She say my little cousin mama name. We finna take him, she finna take him down to the police department. He finna go down here and talk to these people. And if you had something to do with it, you need to come on down. I said, I ain't had nothing to do with nothing. I said, you need to tell her she need not to take him down there. Well, you said y'all ain't had nothing to do with it, so what's wrong with her taking him down? I said, mama, just listen to me. Y'all just need to pull up, come out let me. Don't go down there. Guess what they do? They take him down now. You always got that mama. Who thinks she looking out for her baby? Her baby don't do no wrong. He would have never did nothing like this. He ain't never did nothing like this. And, and she thinking, I'm finna get him to go down there. I'm gonna save him. So he better go down here and I can tell her You better go down there and tell him anything. Boo did. And she didn't say no other name. She didn't care who else was there. Only thing they know is you better go down there and tell them anything Boo told you to do. I will guarantee you nine times out of ten what she did. And the majority of my homeboys' mama was like it. And if you one of them parents out here who 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 who, who think your your child ain't doing nothing and he ain't got no business doing it and he out here doing it, you need to quit acting like it. Cause, cause get, get, get what you are. You are an you are an enabler. So look, check this out. So I'm sitting on the back porch. You know what I'm saying? I'm on the swing. About an hour and a half done went by. I get on the phone, huh, huh. Hey, mom, what's going on down there? She was like, he, he back there talking to him. You say there ain't nothing going on. I said, man, tell her to go get him from off and back there. She get out the, I said, man, pow, I hang up the phone. About two hours go back. I call my mama back again. My mama say he's still back here in the pack. At this point, I'm a little nervous. I'm thinking I'm finna have to down my cub. I'm finna have to down him like an owl. Soon as he pull up, I'm gonna have to jump with him. I said, man, what's going on? She said, he's still back there. So I hang on the phone. The third time I called back, it's about three hours, three and a half hours. She said, he's still back there. I can hang up the phone, please. I said, oh my God, please go back there and get him. And my mama texted me and said, we on the way, he just came out. So at this point, I'm getting on point. I'm sitting on the back, I'm on the swing. They pull up in the driveway. It's a gas station in a it's a gas station in a convenience store right across the street. I'm thinking I'm gonna just walk over there with him and have a little talk with him, a little chit chat. So when they pull up, they all get out of the car simultaneously at the same time, close the doors at the same time. So I look at Cud, Cud looking at me, me and Cud looking at each other. He looking a little nervous. I'm clutching. I said, Hey Cud. I said, Walk across the street to the store with me real quick. As soon as I say that, his mama busts out and say, No, he ain't he ain't going nowhere with you. I said, Cud. I don't even really acknowledge him because at this point, at this point, listen, <laughs> y'all, I'm gonna go back here. I said, come on, come on, cool. No, he, he, no, he ain't going nowhere with you. And then she busts out and say, all oh, y'all going to jail. So when she say that, I look her dead in her face, dead in her eye. You gotta keep in mind the life I was living at that time, the mindset I had at that time. I ain't possessed the Holy Spirit at that point. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no self control. You know what I'm saying? Murder is all on my heart. And so my mama kind of looked at me at the same time. I said, I ain't going no. Which I cussed at the time. I said, I ain't going no. Come on, cuz. He said, my mama's straight. So when we walk across the street, right? I said, cuz, uh, what you tell them folks, cuz? He said, man, cuz, cuz, he, he, if he utter the wrong thing, I'm gonna bring him down the sides first. I'm gonna hit him in the kneecap. Fire! Fire! That's what I'm 
was looking at I said, girl, what you tell them for, girl? He said, man, girl, I ain't tell them nothing about you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I did a little celebratory dance right there. You know what I'm saying? The weight was lifted up off of me because I'm going to tell you something before he even went any, any, any further than what he was saying. I'm thinking to myself, he got to be telling the truth. He got to be telling the truth because the police ain't pulled up to get me. And not only have they not pulled up to get me, he was down there for three and a half hours. And for some reason, he's standing right here able to tell me that, that he didn't say nothing about me. Because if he implicated himself in the situation, true enough, he would be sitting down there in the county with a very high bar. So what he said, I said, I said so, so what you tell him, girl? What you tell him? What you tell him, girl? He said, man, girl, I blamed it all on him. Who is him? You need to put a name on that. I said, who? who I'm playing it cool at the time because I'm really just I'm trying I'm trying to make it like I ain't just wear it like I ain't just like everything is cool but at the same time listen to me girl it can't be no witnesses on this can't cool I said what's going on I said oh, I said oh, who who is him who is him he said man he say my homeboy name the one who pulled the trip I said I said so what all did you tell him? so he tell the run that and the only person I'm concerned with at the time is me just like all the rest of them were I said so. So, so you ain't even tell them I was there, cuz? No, cuz, I ain't even mention you at all, cuz. Cuz, I ain't even mention you at all. And for some reason at that time, but I guess, I don't know if my, my judgment was clouded or I wasn't thinking straight as I thought I was thinking. I forgot how good of a liar cuz is, cuz is. I forgot that he's a habitual. You could, cuz could have went to the corner store and got some cigarettes. You'd have asked him where he went. He'd tell you he went to Walmart to go buy his little sister a bike and she don't even know how to ride one. So, when he said, I was like, he gotta be telling the truth, cuz ain't. Ain't no way he's sitting right here talking to me free. I said, so, 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 what you tell him you were doing? He said, cuz I ain't even gonna lie to you, cuz. I told him I was scared. I told him I ain't know what was going on, you know. He just shot somebody, you know what I'm saying? He asked me to go do something with him. I told him when he and when he done it, when he got back in the car, he told me to pull off and not to tell nobody that he was gonna kill me. I said, I said, you know, you know, your habitual lying seems to come in and hand it perfect timing. He said, I ain't gonna lie to you, cuz. Oh, good. I told him anything. I told him anything. At this point, he feels like it's okay to just to just let me know, you know, he, he done ran down anything. He said, good. Oh, yeah, good. I told him anything. I said, he, 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 going, he said, oh, he do good. I said, he, and he kept on referencing one person. He, he, he claimed he didn't bring me up or the, home, or the other homeboy. So I'm thinking anything cool. So a couple of weeks go back. A whole lot of something. He didn't quit answering his phone. He didn't have the phone. So I said, what's going on? I don't know where he stands. My man on the phone, I said, he ain't coming to some disappear. He ain't in jail. You know what I'm saying? Because he can check the records. So I'm driving down 21st Street I used to stay on with my ex-girlfriend when I was, you know, messing around with her niece. You know what I'm saying? At the same time, sleeping with both of them. So I'm driving down the street, and guess who I see? Look who? Look who's sitting on the porch with this woman. I said, I said, now wait a minute. <laughs> Am I tripping? Man, I hear her put the car in front. I roll down the woods. Hey, hey, cuz. Hey, let me holler at you real quick, cuz. Cuz don't say nothing. The girl off the top say, now nah, he don't want to talk to you. He ain't got nothing to talk about. You going to jail. You going to, I said, who going to jail? At this point, I, man, I said, what is you talking about? The, the whole time, I'm thinking to myself. Evidently, he done told her anything. Evidently, he, he, he probably already done told that he done threw me under the bus. I said, he's sitting there acting like he don't even see me right here. He acting like he don't even hear me talking. And then he going to act like he don't hear her telling me that I'm going to jail. As if he's going to be the one who's going to be free. And she, I should have called her prophet at the time. Because evidently, she seen the pro she's, evidently, she's seen the future. I should have been I should have been more concerned about what else she could tell me. But I was so mad at the time. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I said, man, cuz you need to come in and holler at me. So finally, he finally come up off the porch. Like he tell her, like everything cool. Cause you was over here with my ex-girlfriend in the middle of why we got a murder case going on. That, 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 that's enough to dome you right here. Because it's something is off with you. What makes you think right after we get a murder case, you could just go sleep with my ex-girlfriend who done slept with all my homeboys, slept with some of the girls that she thought I was sleeping with because she thought me and the girls were sleeping together. She, 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 she just out here doing everything to get me back. Now, all of a sudden, this the same girl I done had to put my hands on you before about it. It ain't even had nothing to do with, had nothing to do with her. So don't y'all jump in my comment section talking about I'm fighting over girls. It was the principle. See, that's what most people don't understand. Now, even though this girl was in the middle of it, I was fronting this man though. I was helping this man do everything. I done helped this mama, I done helped my little cousin mama pay her bills before. And then all of a sudden, you want to be disrespectful and do this to me. So it ain't even about the woman. It's the principle. I done had to, I done had to, man, listen, man. I 
I had to do it to him out there, man. I had to do it and jump off that damn deal. So look, dramatic effect me, please. So when he get to the cop, I'm talking to him, he talking back, you know what I'm saying? We, we converse, we have a little conversation. And cuz say something that make a little sense. He said, cuz we don't need to be talking right now, especially when it comes to them phone records. I said, I guess I can, I guess I can respect that to a certain extent. You know what I'm saying? But I told him, I said, well, cuz you need to get another phone so we can talk. Cause we ain't even got our story together. What's going on if they ever come out of me? He said, that what's up, cuz. So I pulled off, I ain't hear from cuz no more. I ain't hear from cuz no more. So at this point, I go and hire a lawyer. When I went and hired the lawyer, this is the same lawyer that was the lawyer on them. When I hit the lick for the $125,000, he was their lawyer. So when I went and hired him, I paid him $100 bills. And he thinking them $100 bills come from the robbery. So he taking it as a smack in the face. He looking at it like, oh, not only did he get away with that, he think he can come and hire me, which was a conflict of interest. Look, and, and get away with this too so he could just leave town. So he takes it up on himself to go down and holler at the DA and tell the DA what's, I guess, whatever he told him and what's going on, which ended up later on coming out. So after that happened, I'm sitting in the house one day because he tell me when the court date was. When he gave me the court date, he told me to be at the house because he wanted to pull up and come and get me a however, you know what I'm saying, this was going on. So I leave Clarkville and I come home. I'm in here taking down my braids. I'm finna go, you know what I'm saying, I want to look pre pre preventable. <laughs> I want to look presentable before the judge. And the only reason I'm having to go before the judge is because I'm on a four-year probation for the attempted murder case. I don't know if you heard the attempted murder case, but if you want to hear the attempted murder case when I shot the man with the AK-47 three times, then say you want to hear the attempted murder case in the comment section. So, and I'm sitting in the room, my mama tap on the door. Ta -ta 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 -ta. When she tap on the door, I, come on, what's up? She come in, she got the phone covered. So me being the criminal I was at the time, I'm thinking if they calling my house phone and not my cell phone, they trying to verify that I'm inside of the house. And if they trying to verify that I'm inside of the house, as soon as I get on the phone, they mean they on their way in. So I grab the phone, and at the same time, I look at the blind. And just as I thought, it was an unmarked right across the street. But it threw me off at the time because I knew I said, that's just one though. That's just one police car. I said, that ain't making sense. So when I get on the phone, I'm like, hello. He said, how you doing, baby? I said, I'm, I'm good with myself. You know? He said, oh, I'm good. He said, you, you, he said, I need you to come on down to the station and talk to me. I said, about what? He said, about the murder. I said, am I under arrest or something? He was like, no. Nah. I said, I ain't got nothing to talk about. I hang up the phone. <laughs> when I hang up the phone, I go outside. And I'm going outside to the back so I can see if it's other police out here. Ain't no police. And I really don't even want to run at time. I ain't even going to lie to you. I'm really tired. I'm really kind of wore down. And I've been scared. My paranoia has reached a whole nother level. So at this point, I'm really just like, man, I ain't mean. So I called my homeboy real quick. It's supposed to be four of us, not two. So I called my homeboy. Hello? I said, hey, bro. Uh, I said, man, the police have been in your house today. He said, nah, why, what's up? I said, oh, man, they just called me, man. He said, for real, bro? I said, yeah, I see, they ain't called you, man. He said, nah. And then it was a silent, awkward pause. Just like that. Then he said, hey, bro. I said, what's up? He said, man, not the man. Anytime you hear it, man, listen, brace yourself. He said, man, bro. Then he breathed a little hard. I said, I said man, what's up, bro? Because he don't know that the police is already outside my house and they done called me. He said, man, bro, go on down there and talk to him. I said, for what? He said, man, bro, they just left my house, bro. I said, what they say? He said, man, bro, they finna come to charge you with everything. I couldn't even respond. I just hung the phone up. I said, why you in? I hang the phone up. I walk in the house. I get back in my room. And as soon as I get in my room, I hear the footsteps. 
They tap on the door. Pop, 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 pop. Joe. I open the door. Pop. Big boy. Get down on the... My mama right there. My daughter right there. I get down on the ground. I find I look up at the barrel. He read my charges. You're under arrest for special aggravated robbery, special aggravated kidnapping, first degree, premeditated murder, three counsel, felony murder. The whole time I'm thinking to myself here, it's over. Ain't no more dropping no head. Ain't no more chilling with the homeboys. Ain't no more going in the refrigerator when I want to go in the refrigerator. Ain't no more nothing. Freedom is gone. You know what I'm saying? I've been to Juve a couple times. I've been in and out of Juve. You know what I'm saying? I've seen a lot. You know what I'm saying? Did a lot. You know what I'm saying? But at this point, you know what I'm saying? These charges seem a little different. If you want to hear the rest of the story, the link is in the bio. Go get the book. JTB3.org.